this is what the resources will look like for this lesson. This will be projected at the beginning. Um, these are teaching points throughout this nonfiction reading unit. And you can see that we'll be working on number nine, so we're about a little bit over halfway through this unit. So when this is projected, students will see this. And in their reading notebooks, they've already got this, um, this piece of paper that is pasted into their notebook where they are identifying the teaching points with me as they come. And they will also be recording their knowledge before using this scale. Um, and they'll also be recording the amount of effort that they're going to be willing to put forth during that lesson again using the same one, two, three, four scale. Um, yeah, so moving on. After they record the goal, we move into accessing their prior knowledge. Um, and so this will be posted up. This will probably, I think I'll keep this as a screenshot, although I'd like to have some more images instead of just words, just so that students can get an idea of what um, the possibilities are in Poplet. Um, again, just making connections to this goal so that they can make uh, links between what they already know and what they're about to learn. It'll then head into the next slide where at this point I will be signed into a Poplet account, but for the sake of time right now I've already got this done. Um, I'll project the text probably with a document camera and I'll probably have just one page of that also either copied or typed out for students so that they can have that in front of them and follow along and be able to highlight and underline or mark that paper up to help them identify main idea and supporting detail. So this will be modeled for them. Um, after doing that, again, they'll have their papers and they'll work with partners to read a second paragraph and then to work with those partners to create their own poplet. Um, again, kind of giving them the freedom to create however they like to which is why I'd like to have my accessing prior knowledge up here be something that does display with images just so that they they see a few different options but um, this is a pretty text centered uh, lesson and it's something that they're going to need to use text for for the further assessment so I do want to make sure that they've got um, writing in there. Um, after that's done then we'll project a few and discuss what students found. And then finally, they will be making connections to their own life. So again, trying to transfer this knowledge, thinking about where we can use this idea in different locations. So even something as simple as like thinking about soccer as being their main idea, and that in order to play it well or successfully, you've got to have shin guards, you have to have coaches, and you need a, um, more equipment or uniforms in order to participate. After writing or filling in this section, uh, you'll return to their goal sheet where they're then going to reflect on this process and they're going to record again their knowledge now after and hopefully we'll see an increase in that. Um, and that leads into the homework or the classwork time too where they'll be creating a poplet independently to display their work and part of that last piece is also going to be linking that into Edmodo. So they'll just, after they create it, share their link here, and then students will be able to probably assign like students to actually have them reply some type of feedback for their partner um, so that they've got that. And those are the tools that I'll be using.